All right, so another one of our projects today is going to be to run some um, stays in the fencing. So when we moved here, the initial fencing that this enclosure had uh, was every other uh, regular and barbed wire fencing. Uh, so they were using it to run Dexter cows. Um, sounds like it worked fairly well. However, uh, we decided we needed some more secure fencing along here. And this is fairly close to our house. Um, so Eric went ahead and we put a gate in. This was not here before. So we did put a swinging gate in to make it easier to come and go um, and be able to check on our cows and feed them from this end because the only gate was actually down by the main road um, at the entrance of our property. So we wanted to be able to access the cows easier. So we put that gate in and got these guys moved in. The day that we moved them in, it was a really exciting uh, day. We videoed that. It was pretty cute. They were pretty excited to be uh, released out into the woods. They really enjoyed it. Um, so our project, though, is going to be putting in stays. And stays are something we found out about through our... Uh, Eric's working on the electrical fencing here. Stays are something that we found out about through our uh, cow breeder that we got Juno from. And um, this is what it is. And so it's actually just a way to kind of... Uh, put extra strength in the existing fencing um, and it shortens the spaces up in between. So for the areas in between where our T posts are and the big wood posts are, we're able to run some extra uh, lines and we haven't um, finished it yet. So we've run portions of it, but haven't finished that up yet. Uh, and so that's kind of one of our projects today to finish running that and hopefully move Jenny back down here and uh, one of the things that these girls really like is bananas, but I want to show everybody something kind of funny. I mentioned it the last time. Um, for some reason, JC does not like bananas. And if I try to give her a banana, she usually, oh, today she's taking it. Usually she'll, she'll blow her nose at me and act all weird because she's not really fond of bananas for some reason. And it's actually, this is actually, oh, I don't know. This is actually um, Jade's favorite thing. So I was actually, I brought these for her. Um, well, normally JC won't take them and I thought maybe she would uh, do her little nose blowing thing, but she's not. Uh, and JC's not wanting to share. Hey, maybe you just don't like them super ripe. I wanted Jade to have this. That was Jade's favorite. Usually it's Jade's favorite. You want a banana? No? Okay, well, JC, maybe you'll take one today. Usually she won't. That's funny. Kind of breaking from tradition. Hi, Jade. Hello, Jade. Oh, she wants treats because Daddy has them. Um, they do know how to come up to the house for their treats. We don't actually feed them hay unless it's uh, really, really cold and the ground's too cold to eat any shrubbery and foraging things. She smells like molasses right now. Jade does because she's been in the supplement tub. We buy a um, supplement for the cows. We don't feed them grain, but there is a supplement that we give them. They just lick it as needed um, and they really enjoy that. So those are not cheap either. Those supplement tubs run about 180 bucks, but they last us a while and it gives them a lot of the vitamins and nutrients that they need in their diet. And the rest is just foraging, foraging on the greenery and the shrubbery and everything that's out here. And there's grass, many different things. Um, and that's how we sustain our cows. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And in a minute here, we will show you how we put those stays. And it's actually pretty cool. And it's really a lot easier than you think.